It's very pivotal when it comes to holding these choke points of these little doorways. And you can see exactly it is no one's able to come through, although Griffin able to find himself. Three as he sneaks in from behind a full white for Griff as he will clean up all four players. A very easy break for Cavemen. And in those situations, when you have someone who is just that skilled with the gun, they have the mechanics to do that. There's very little that you can. Splitgate Arena Warfare is a free arena shooter made by 1047 Games that has an incredible amount of potential, but did not take off as expected. From launch, the Steam Charts website shows the game peaked at just under 12,000 players. I'm not sure how accurate these numbers are since it's the Steam Charts website, but this is all I could find. Splitgate truly changes the way a standard shooter plays with the addition of portals. It changes the flow to something no other shooter has experienced before. And that's good. A lot of AAA title game companies seem to simply do a copy and paste with a few new designs, and it gets boring. Splitgate holds the potential to become a huge esports name in the industry, but it hasn't happened yet. But that doesn't mean it never will. There's currently a esports league running, it's rather small, but it does exist. They do a monthly $1,000 tournament, and today they're doing their first draft pick tournament, which I'm not a part of because I'm actually making this video because I'm passionate about this game. It's free to play on Steam, they have a console release coming next year, early 2020 from what they've been saying in their Twitter feed and on their Discord, and that will definitely bring in a lot more players on the console side, which will hopefully attract players not only on streaming platforms like Twitch, but also back to PC gaming as well. In fact, this gameplay you're watching is actually from a tournament from a few months back. Uh, it's the original clip in the video with the casters, they had a specific uh, Splitgate Twitch channel where people could go and watch the tournament games with the official casters and things of the sort. Uh, it's a very fast-paced game as you can see, and some argue that now that Halo Reach has come out, it's going to kill this game even more. But I think it's going to actually bring this community closer together. This is some gameplay of me playing Halo Reach on my Twitch stream, uh, twitch.tv slash thegriffin by the way. And as you can see, this game just plays much more slow than Splitgate does. And that's not bad by any means, everyone has their own preferences. But as you can see, this is just much more of a calm demeanor. Whereas in Splitgate, not only are you able to use Sprint, but you also have a Thrust Pack so you can see different angles that people wouldn't expect you to be able to hit to portal behind them. There's so much you have to learn based upon the movement that you can do, the angles you can hit, and people can just find it very, very daunting if it's their first time playing the game. And the reason why I say that Halo Reach and Splitgate can coexist is because people love this game. The people who continue to play this game, they support the game. They support the game devs. This is the game devs' first game they've ever made. And it's incredible how good of a job that they've done. We support the game, we support the industry, and we really think that with enough people coming back to the game, this can really take a turn for the better. So why didn't Splitgate take off originally? I'm lucky enough to be in contact with Cardinal Soldier, the CEO of 1047 Games, and I sent him a quick message explaining I was making a video, and this is what he sent back to me. He says, We believe the reason it didn't do well at launch is largely because of two issues. First off, our matchmaking and ranking system was terrible at getting close to games. Uh, originally, this had a level 1 through 50 for ranked gameplay. Uh, it was heavily influenced from Halo's original ranking system, but it just didn't end up working in a modern shooter. Uh, so most players would just simply log on, play one to two games, and essentially get crushed, and they would just never come back. They have made major improvements and have fixed both issues, Cardinal says, and he's right. They have an entire new ranking system now. It's based upon ELO, and it flows very, very well. Not only have they added a Arena Battle Pass after their Season 1 launch, they've also added a brand new map, Abyss, and they've also rehauled other maps as well from the original launch. Uh, the game flows very, very well now, and the maps look fantastic, and everything just feels completed. How do I finish this video? Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching the video, I hope that you enjoyed it, and of course, if you haven't, check out Splitgate. I hope that this video persuades you to do so. Uh, don't forget, I do stream five days a week. My Twitch link and everything else is down below in the description. Thank you so much once again for checking out the video. I appreciate it. Give me some feedback if you don't mind, and I'll see you later.